All right, we got Farmer here. He's going to tell us how we do the injector uh, flow testing to make sure that injectors are flowing the same amount and, and all that. I'll let Farmer get into it here. All right, first thing we're going to do, these are uh, the same injectors I had in the previous video. This is off of a 800 ProR uh, players. What we're going to do is a uniform test. So the first thing we're going to do on this is set our pulse width. We're going to take it up to the maximum we test at, which is going to be 12. And that's the duration of milliseconds that the injector is cycled open. Then we're going to go back up to the RPM. Start it out around 2000 RPM. And then we will run the test. Again, when we're doing these tests, we're looking for a pattern of the column of fuel coming out, and these look pretty uniform. And this is kind of simulating a wide open pulse width or a maximum duty cycle on the injectors. And we'll run this fuel, or the, uh, we'll fill the injection tubes up here to 100. Whatever one gets to 100 first, and then that tells us the percentage of loss on the one that's low, if it is low. A little behind. And you can see the one on the right is the one we are having trouble with in the last video. I did run it through the cleaner. This is just to show you guys an example of what a bad injector is going to look like. Now we're going to take it to the next test. And this one will really show a lot more of uh, the fueling issue that this snowmobile. Drain our columns down again. <clears throat> Now we're going to adjust the pulse width down to the lowest test we have, which is 3. We can go lower, uh, but we'll run it at 3 just for this example. We'll do the same RPM, and we'll probably run the RPMs up just because that will speed up the uh, test. Now that it's firing, we'll go ahead and crank the RPMs up. Now you can really see the one on the right is falling behind quickly. Now this is showing basically a bulky injector. It's not opening or closing near as quick as the uh, one on the left. So this set of injectors is going to definitely fail out on us. And uh, one thing that can happen if an injector is flowing less, that makes the engine lean. So uh, uh, a slow flowing injector is definitely not good for an engine. No, especially on the uh, two-stroke applications. And uh, this snowmobile did burn down, and it was a magside burn down. And so there we have it. We have a magside injector that it failed. So there it is. You got an even slower one, or did you go down to the three millisecond? Or that's the three. Oh, yeah, that was a three. The one. And we can do a quick one to show where they uh, shut down. Okay. We'll do that. So now we'll start this test again. I'm going to slow the RPM down. And then we're going to narrow the pulse width up, down as low as it goes, and you'll see one of these stall before the other one. And basically that can happen on an idle circuit. We'll go 2500 RPM, pulse width of 3, and we'll just start running. You can see there's spring. Now when I set the pulse width smaller, the one on the right is off. At 2.7, the one on the left doesn't turn off till 2.4. Now that one's off. So there's a pretty good margin. But that one's not spraying at all on the right. And that's where the lack of fuel comes from. This one's cycling time is not as quick as this one. So, lack of fuel. All right, so uh, injector cleaning service is one of the new things we're going to be adding. 
uh, look for it on our website. It'll be somewhere you can fill out a work order form, send it in, and uh, go from there. Check out all our cool stuff at bikemanperformance.com. Thanks for watching the video.